You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Lawman. It's a 12-shot cap gun. Uh, uses ring caps. Because with the holster, the belt, and the gun, it says die cast, let's see, collectible toy pistol. Now, we've done a lot of cap guns in the past. I kind of like them and had a lot of miniature ones and a couple of the larger ones, but nothing like this. So when we found it, or actually ended up in the booth here, I thought, let's give it a shot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. And then, uh, so this is Replicas by Paris since 1936. Now, who likes cap guns? Um, we've done cap guns, cap bombs, cap rockets. I actually took a hammer outside and smashed a roll of caps, because when I was a kid, I did all those things with caps. They're just, it's cool. Um... So let's take a look at the gun in the holster. Well, let's take a look at the holster. The holster is just like a plastic, and you can use your belt. You don't have to use the belt that's in here, as long as your belt is thin enough if you want to, you know, be a cowboy. And then there is the way to fire it and the warning and how to open it. And uh, it says, release catch to open chamber, open chamber, load ring caps on cylinder. There's nothing on the back. So let's get to the gun, because that's what we really want to see, right? So here is the cap gun, which it is a pretty nice cap gun. For all the cap guns we've done, it's probably the nicest one. And it takes these 12-shot ring caps. Now let me show you an 8-shot shot ring cap so you can see the difference of the two. Now I didn't realize how difficult it is to find 12-shot ring caps. It pretty much goes with these guns, so you have to look for them. And this, I think, actually came from Cabela's. I don't know if you've heard of Cabela's, if they're in your area. So there's the difference. Look at the size difference. Let me zoom in on that. All right, so definitely get more shots. And they look like bigger caps, don't they? All right, so you, uh, well, let's take a look at the handle and everything. As you can tell, it is all metal. And this plastic is made to look like wood. The cylinder spins. You can pull back like that, but it won't hold in place. And then uh, that's about it. We want to hear it, right? So that's what it looks like on that side of the gun. And to release it, you press this little lever down, and it opens it up. You could also flip it back like that. And then you put in your ring caps, the cylinder, doesn't look like it pulls out. Sometimes they pull all the way out. It does pull all the way out. Spins. And you just put your caps in. Line them up. And you're set. So, I don't know how loud it's going to be. In the past, people have said, oh, that's not loud at all. Because I think the camera itself has a noise suppressor on it. So it's louder, for me, it makes my ears ring usually, than what you're going to hear. So let me just uh, give it a shot here. So we had some misfires in there. And I know also, also on the cylinder, look, there's a spot to easily get the caps out. So it's a nice gun. Nice cap gun. Let's get another ring in there. Let's do another one. I also wanted to do this in night shot because there's a lot of sparks you're not seeing. For whatever reason. Lighting. Who knows. Okay. Here we go. Wow, that was all 12. Cool. Let's do it again. And just the smell. Now it's come it's it's uh, you know, permeating towards me now. And I don't know, it just brings me back to the time when I used to play with cap guns and just enjoyed the smell of the caps and the smoke. All right, let me uh here, let me get this here. For some reason I'm having a struggling with this one. Okay, there we go. Let me go to night vision, and we'll see if we can capture some sparks. Okay, so here we go. I know it's kind of green, but I couldn't go totally black. Let's see. Oh, did you see him come out of here? Look at that. Just 
to see if you can feel it. Cool, let's do it again. So who had cap guns as a kid? Who still has cap guns? And uh, cap guns are very collectible. If you didn't know that, they can be very, very expensive for the very, uh, very, very, for the very, for the early cap guns. They go for big, big money. Because they're collectors that want every gun, original. Let's see, here we go. was all 12 all right let's go back to some light okay all set I left the gun like this I have a fresh round of caps and I wanted to show you the inside of this area here so when you're pulling the trigger this here this pin right here is advancing this cylinder here with these little notches and then this is what's actually hitting the caps right there you go let's just end with a first person point of view I guess you would call it not sure like you're aiming yourself and you've got your cap gun and here we go 12 so that is the lawman die cast collectible toy pistol and if you want to see all the other cap guns there's even a couple fails in there a lot of people ask how come you never show your fails well I take a cap gun out of the package and it disintegrates in my hand. So we left that video there so you can check it out. And then uh, if you want to see that playlist, look in the description or just search our channel for cap guns. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.